Hey guys, Natural J here, and I'm back to bring you my June Essence Beauty Box. Just a quick recap, if you don't know, um, Essence the Magazine launched a subscription service back in October. It's 15 bucks a month, and I have been loving it ever since I subscribed. So this month's theme is Best in Black Beauty because every year they collectively vote on like the best of hair, makeup, skincare, everything. They put a big article together in the magazine, so I guess these are some of the products that are the winners. So Let's get to what I got in my June box. And first up are these Jamberry Nail um, Wraps. These are in the style Fracture. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a really pretty, like, textured, broken, like, look. I really, really like these. These are cute. Um, I remember seeing these all over Facebook when people would invite me to their Jamberry parties, and I declined all of them. But, um... <laughs> I have a couple nail wraps, not by Jamberry, but I have some by Sephora and some other companies I really need to use since my nails are no longer on anymore. I need to put those to use, so I can't wait to give these a try. I love these. They're a great alternative to nail polish. They don't chip or anything, so they kind of stay on for about a week or so, so um, I can't wait to give these a try. I really like the design on these. Next up is something I was excited to see is the NYX Ombre Blush in Insta Flame. This seems to be a trend with like makeup products, like everything's ombre, like eyeshadows, um, highlighters, bronzers, blushes. So here's what the packaging looks like. Ooh, this is pretty. Here's what the blush looks like. This is very pretty. It's like a pinkish peach color. I really, really like it. I can't wait to give this a try. It looks like it will be great. I'll try to give you guys a swatch if I can. You can't really see the light color. The light color looks like it would be like a highlight. I don't know if you can really see that. But, um... This is pretty. It'll look great against my skin tone. I cannot wait to put this blush to use. Next up is this Kleenex Facial Cleansing Wipe. This seems like something new by Kleenex. I just know them for like tissues and everything. So I guess they're trying to expand into um, beauty products. So this is, you use this wipe in place of your regular facial clean cleaning routine to remove impurities and makeup, including waterproof mascara. So I guess this is like an all-in-one makeup remover facial cleanser. Um, maybe if you're on the go, you can't get to a bathroom or you're traveling or something like that. It needs to be in handy, so I can't wait to put this to use and give it a try. Next up is this Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant Pure Cocoa Butter. You can never go wrong with cocoa butter. It's an amazing um, skincare product. It really keeps my skin hydrated and moisturized. And I love the size of this, so I can put this in my purse and travel around with it or use it for traveling. Love this lotion. Love this company. Love this look. <laughs> Next up is something else I was very excited to see. It's the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick, and I have mine in the shade Vivid Violet. I already own one of these, and I love this liquid lipstick. It's not drying at all. It has an amazing wear time. It's very comfortable to wear, and these colors are very, very pigmented. I love them, and it's a great alternative if you don't want to spend, like, a lot of money on a liquid lipstick. These are a great alternative because they're just as great, so I love this color. Um... This looks like something I can wear all year round, not just for, like, vampy time when it's, like, fall and winter. So, I can't wait to, you know, try this color and see a look I can create with it. And lastly, are these two products by Madam C.J. Walker. This is Brisk Fighting um, Humidity Block Curl Gel, and I also have the Curl Enhancing Defining Buttercream. Now, I've seen these products on Sephora website. This is a pretty new company, um, and I just found out that it's a black-owned company. Madam C.J. Walker, she started the whole black hair care movement, so um, thank you for her for doing that. And um, I've been wanting to get my hands on some of their products. Um, they seem interesting, something I would try with my hair, and I love that these have um, ingredients that I would use in my hair, like Jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil. So, And the Humidity Block Curl Gel will come in handy this summer because I know... When it gets hot, my hair gets crazy, so I need something to help keep the curls and, you know, keep the moisture and everything. And this, um, and I love how big the packaging is, so I know I can probably get more than one use out of these. So that was everything in my June Essence box. Have you tried any of these products before? Until next time, see you guys later!